Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in acknowledgement of your existence and demonstrated love for your creation. We thank you for engaging with our existence and coming among us in the form of Jesus Christ to show us who God is and how we might fit in his kingdom. Lord, we thank you for choosing to die to redeem us from our lost, rebellious failure to be as God required us to be. We thank you that by faith in Jesus, our lives are changed, our minds are renewed, and we move forward with hope and faith and love. Lord, enable us to share this experience of faith in Christ with those who do not know what it's like. Lord, our world has had so many of the assumptions it has built empires on frustrated by a small virus. As powers are threatened and changes are considered, O oh Lord, we pray that many will hear about Jesus, come to faith, and that your church will be built. Lord, show us how we might contribute to that. Lord, we pray for all those who grieve around the world at this time. Lord, we pray that they will be drawn closer in their understanding of a holy God and choose to lean on faith in him. Lord, we pray for the families of our church as they deal with changes to employment and income, as they accommodate the changes brought with homeschooling and live together in a limited space. Enable them to be able to rest in you and the knowledge that you are in charge in all things as Romans 8.28 tells us, and will not place on us pressures that you cannot help us cope with. Lord, we also want to pray for our brother in Christ Merv, as he sits in his hospital bed. We pray that you will enable clear and sound advice to be available, and the best decisions to be made. Give him a sense of your presence and comfort. Lord, we also pray for your strength and support for Jan, as she seeks to support Merv's treatment and recovery. Lord, we ask all these things through the name of Jesus. Amen.